Hey what's going on people, BearFox here and welcome back to another brand new video. Today's video is going to be all about how you can fix packet loss and optimize your ping in Valorant. If this video helps you out, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We are really close to 16k subscribers and I seriously do appreciate all the support you guys have been showing in the past few days. Thanks a lot guys and also we have a Valorant Battle Pass giveaway as well so make sure you guys go and check the description for participation. And with all this said, let's get started with the video. Alright, starting off with the step number one. That is going to the settings. The settings button will be right over here. Click on the settings and then type in network. You'll find something called network reset. Click on it. Then hit reset now and then hit yes and restart your PC once. Download the Valorant Net Optimizer by Bearfox RAR. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Once you open up this RAR file, you'll find a folder like this. Extract this folder to your desktop and then open it up. You'll find three things over here. First one is the DNS benchmark, second one is the TCP optimizer and third one is the commands. I'll go in each one step by step. First open up the DNS benchmark folder and then run dnsbench.exe. Once you are here, go to the name servers and then wait for it until it loads. Once done, hit run benchmark and then make sure to check on the start parties server first. Hit not now and then on the right side you guys can see OpenDNS, CloudFareNet, OpenDNS, UltraDNS and Google US. Now make a note never use any OpenDNS or UltraDNS, always use Google or CloudFareNet. For me. The 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.0 are higher than the Google DNS. So what I have to do is exit the program and then go to control panel. Over there hit network and internet and then go to network and sharing our center. Once you are here, click on ethernet and then go to properties. Double click here and then use the following DNS server addresses. Use 1.1.1.1 and here 1.0.0.1. Now this may differ for you, so use the one that comes on top. Hit OK, close and close this thing. Then go back to the Valorant Net Optimizer and then open the second folder. Now here is an app called TCP Optimizer. This is the setup file. And the other one is the settings file. I'll show you how to use it. First, open up TCP Optimizer in your PC. Make sure to run it as administrator. Then, go to File and then hit Import. Now go to the folder where you have the TCP Optimizer settings and then hit Open. Once done with that, hit Apply Changes and then hit Exit. This will automatically apply the best settings for gaming in your PC. Once you're back in the folder, open up the third file that says command.txt. Double click on that and you'll find three commands over here. Now open up the command prompt as administrator. Okay, now what you have to do is copy the first command and then paste it over here. Then copy the second command and then paste it here. And copy the third command and paste it here. Once done with that, you have to restart your PC in order to see the changes. Once you've restarted your PC, open up Valorant. Now, once you are in Valorant, go to settings. And over there, go to video and then go to stats. Now for client FPS, go for text only, the server tick rate, hide, total frame time, hide, idle time, text only, and all of these to hide, packet loss, um, go for text only or go for graph only and then game la render latency hide game latency hide and render latency hide Then close these settings now go back to your desktop I'll be leaving a link to another file called netlimiter 4 you have to download and install it That will be the complete version of netlimiter 4. I'm going to be providing to you guys the netlimiter 4 pro Now once you are here scroll a bit down until you find Valorant for me 
Here it is, the Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. Now what you have to do is right click on it and then go to add rule. Then for here, go to priority and then high. Then hit save. In this way, you're going to be prioritizing your Valorant over any other applications on your PC. And then drop into the game. I believe that solves all your problem. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We are really close to 16k subscribers and I really do appreciate all of your support. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.